I got a chance to hang out with you and Hanzo Gracie at ADCC. He keeps messaging me saying he's gonna call me and not calling me. I think aside from being hilarious, charismatic, and uh, handsome, uh, he is also, uh, and wise for his young age, um, he's also one of the greatest coaches and athletes of all time in martial arts. So uh, let me ask, what have you learned about life from Hanzo Gracie? The degree of difficulty that Henzo must have encountered. He never talked to us, to us about it, because. Uh, but I figured this out as the years went by. The degree of difficulty that he must have experienced when he first came to Manhattan and started teaching, it must have just been incredible. You've got to remember, Henzo came from Brazil, training with the best people in the world at that time, you know, Hickson, uh, uh, all the Machados. All of them were located uh, around Gracie Baja and um, uh, that Rio de, Rio de Janeiro set. They all knew each other and they all trained together. They had internal problems, of course, and but um, uh, they all knew each other well and knew each other's games. So they, all of them had beautiful and highly developed jiu-jitsu. So all Henzo knew from childhood on was perfect beautiful jiu-jitsu, and communicating with other people who also knew perfect, beautiful jiu-jitsu. Then he comes to New York, yeah, where he has to teach in a language that he, at that stage, barely spoke yeah. to a bunch of fucking morons yeah. who didn't even, uh, on my first day in jiu-jitsu, they had to explain to me the difference between the mount and the guard, because mm -hmm. as far as I was concerned, yeah, you're on top, it's the same thing. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 mounted is different from God. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like, you're on top of the guy. You just hit him. So he has like, to argue with you about you, this. You, <laughs> and imagine going from training with, with Hicks and Gracie yeah. to having to tell some moron that God is different from mount. And we was we were so primitive back then. It, he went from the best training culture in the world to literally the worst. Just a bunch of guys in their mid-20s who knew nothing about the ground, just well. Luckily, he's known for out. his patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but, uh, but, but uh, out of that, yeah. he molded one of the greatest gyms ever in New York. Yes, uh, he had. Uh, uh, he did a fantastic job, and most of it was based around the idea that he gave us complete freedom. We came in, we trained all day, and I started teaching beginners classes. Um, and then some of his senior students, uh, Hikaru Almeida, Rodrigo Gracie, and Matt Serra, opened their own schools around the tri-state area. So they left. Uh, there was a vacuum of teachers, and he asked me to start teaching. Um, uh, I taught for for many, many years there. And he always gave us complete freedom. His only thing was to say, okay, do whatever you want. Just make sure it's effective. <laughs> Prove yeah. to me it's effective. Yeah. And that's the best research program you can ever have you, you know show me proof and um uh the you know so many times especially in those days in jiu-jitsu there were so many things that were just off limits like you couldn't study leg loss you couldn't do this couldn't do that like this kind of game was for cowards this kind of this is the only kind of game we accept and henzo was never like that he was just like okay just do what you want prove to me it works and if you give people that simple structure, you give them some time, some ingenuity, a lot of things can happen. I got to ask you, and by the way, he'll come on this a podcast, and I do feel like it's a little bit like riding a dragon or a bull of some kind. It'll be, it'll be a fun journey. There's, I can't, at least from my perspective, uh, having interacted and having met him, it's hard not to smile. Um, from he's his easily one of the most charismatic yeah. people in jiu-jitsu. It's kind of uh, uh, fun to watch that humans can be like this too. It's it's just the 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 love that radiates from him is is incredible. 